Hey, what's up you guys? It's Chris and welcome to my channel. What's that? So every once in a while I go searching with these bin killers, so to see what I can see, to find what I can find. What is that? It's the corner of my room. So today I thought I would film a question and answer video to answer some questions that you guys have for me. Whose phone is this? What's this? Ah! Oh, it's a light. <laughs> Let's answer some questions. What's up? Emily asks, pizza or Wi-Fi? Why not both? I just love the internet. Oh, oh, I get it. Cause, yeah. Mm. Oh my word. Sam Smith asks, will you name my new kitten? By the way, it's a girl. Hmm, kitten names for girls. I got it. Peelish. Peelish Burgley. After my mouse, Lisa Burgley. Who's your inspiration? Mitchell Davis is one of my huge inspirations. I love Mitchell Davis' videos. I've been watching him ever since I was a little tyke. Checking out YouTube, checking out the early YouTubes. Also, Casey Neistat produces some sweet, sweet videos, and I've always looked up to him as one of my favorite YouTube documentary filmmakers. I've wanted to make stuff like that, but um, I'm not that skilled. Can I touch your hair? Well, sure you can. What do you think? Soft, huh? What kind of shampoo do you use? I actually use a really specific and special kind of shampoo. Um, you might have heard of it. It's a little bit of an off-brand. It is actually uh, Miracle Whip by Kraft. I mean, it's just always worked really well for me. It's got a really nice smooth consistency, a really nice smell. It really gets in, defines your hairs, and just, it's, it's just the best shampoo there really is. Are you Miracle Whip? Celeste Schapp asks, What's your favorite band? I don't have one favorite band. I have two favorite bands. Not two favorite bands, but two favorite bands. My Chemical Romance and Panic at the Disco. I don't know why, but I just can't get over their music. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Yesenia Milan asks, Where do you get all those clips you put in between your videos? Okay, uh, no offense, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Men are so thick. Rachel asks, asks, what's your most embarrassing childhood memory? Hmm. There was one summer afternoon in the city of Milwaukee where I was sitting at my house, bored out of my young child brain, and I saw this car pass, and it was a black car, and I thought, <gasps> it's my dad! He's finally home! And so I ran and ran and ran after the car, and I finally got to the car when I was screaming with so excitement that I'm finally gonna have something to do. I was banging on the door, slamming open the door, pressing and trying to get in, banging on the windows, and um, I looked at the face of the guy in the car, and I was confused because his face was very shocked, and I mean, everything was going really fast, so I couldn't really comprehend what was going on at this moment or who this man was, but I knew that he was shocked and I knew that he didn't look like my stepdad and then I realized that it wasn't and I ran away screaming because I felt like a psychopath that was pretty embarrassing so that is about it and thank you guys so so much for watching it means a lot if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up let's see if we can get to 1000 500 likes. That would be amazing. Share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it on Tumblr, share it on Instagram, share it on MySpace, share it on Google+, Plus, share it on everything. Share, share, share. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter or Instagram or add me on Snapchat or follow my Tumblr now, you can do that. The links will be in the description below. I will see you all next week.